Hello and welcome to a new Let's Play Poorly series. This is Polaris Sector, uh, part of our 4X June, uh, playing on 1080p and no good mic and no stick and throttle. So we're doing some uh, 4X games here. So we're going to start a new game here. We're going to play in the regular stuff. Uh, nine races, number of stars is normal, research speed is automatic. And we're going to go with Elliptical Galaxy. I have only played this game for maybe an hour before this, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, research is a lot more complex a process in this game than in uh, others, so uh, that is going to be interesting to do. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of different guys here. We've got humans. Uh, oh, wow, what, what hair? I played the Sharatar. These guys look like mean, uh, mean cats. Uh, let's go with humans, I think, because that tends to be how I play. Uh, right. All right. So here we go. This is a... It's a real-time game that is... It's not not turn-based like most uh, Master of Orion-style games. Uh, so this is um, a bit closer to uh, Galactic Ruler... Stellaris, I suppose, uh, is real time. Yeah. So here we go. This is where we are. We are on New Earth. And we are not building anything at the moment. I don't know that we have anything that we can build. Yeah, we could. Or, mm, no, we can't. We, we are, we are fully, we're fully decked out here. So this is, uh, this is our farms. We've got colonial modules and then a whole bunch of uh, production modules here got a, a balanced policy. There's a bunch of different options here to make uh, the development of a colony automated, which is handy. And let's see. We have a scout ship, and we're going to have to get uh, colony ships at some point. And let's take a look what we can do for research. So research in this game, like I said, is, is uh, complex and unlike most other games that I've seen. I believe Master of Orion has something like this. It's been a while, uh, but they've got something vaguely similar, I believe. Maybe one or two. I'm not sure if it's both games or not. But anyway, so on this end, you have the fundamental sciences, which are split out into four different options. And over here are the applied sci sciences, which are split out into these, which can only be added to your queue or to your distribution once you've reached those. And then down here are the things that you can research, the technologies that you can research within the applied sciences, and you can prioritize something if you want. So I think what I'm going to do, let's take a look at automation here. Set of technologies designed to optimize and accelerate the mass production process of various types of devices and structures. Without developed automation, the construction of large ships might require dozens or even hundreds of years. So I'm going to set that as a priority. It moves everything over to whatever setup it would need in order to get there. So in this case, it's fundamental science, 100%. And we're progressing, uh, we're at 0%, of course. We generate science, and some uh, planets generate research, which are used for certain kinds of techs, but not most of them. All right, so we're going to go and do some exploration. And we're going to go down to here. So these little uh, triangles are telling me stuff that I, that I can get to that I haven't seen yet. So let's go there. Now, we're going to start. We're going to uh, press play, and it does move slowly. I tend to play this on relatively high speed the times that I've played in the past uh, because it does pause whenever something interesting happens. But we'll we'll go maybe 6.4%. Okay. We have reached Beta Vul Vulpecula. What's in Beta Volpacula? We've got a desert planet that we can't colonize and a gas giant that we can't colonize. We've got these various uh, types of minerals, metals, organics, plutonium, and there are a few others. And we get planetary bonuses in different planets depending on uh, what type they are. Because of the way the, uh, the space travel works, they are linked by these like hyperlanes. So I can go down to this one. Also note that there is fuel in this game, and so that is essentially your range limiter. Something interesting in Ansar system that we should take a closer look at. Okay, what what do we what do we want to look at? A hot planet and a gas giant. 
And then we've got the space anomaly. Anomalous zones in space are rare for phenomena that merit a closer look. You'll need a ship with a container transport module if you want to figure out where they come from, though. All right. Well, I don't actually know how to do that, how to get a ship with a container transport module. But there's a ship designer here, which I also don't know how to use. But hey, we'll figure this out at some point, perhaps a lot of uh, a lot of things here. Container, what is it? What is it? Container transport module. So maybe I can do that with this. And there's layers here. I'm not really sure. Does this does this guy have uh what does he have? Maybe I can check uh fleet is no, not the fleet designer. Um is it in ships? If I'm looking here, do I get from ships? Uh, let's see. Colonizer, scout. Scout? Oh, it's a scout, which is a type of freighter, but not not really what we need. Containers space, but that's not the same thing, I don't think. Colonists. All right, well, we'll 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 get to there. We'll we'll figure that out. Meanwhile, we're going to go check this out down here. Okay. Shedier Desert Planetoid. You can see our fuel is dropping. Okay, anything here? Uh, all nozzle? No, acidic and contaminated planets. Let's let's go back up this way. So our explorers have sent back word that they found a planet in Denep Kaitos system that seems very similar to our own home planet. Our colonists will have a great time setting up a new settlement there. All right, excellent. So that's what we're going to do. And you can see these little green, this little green uh, bouncy triangle tells me that I, there's something there that I can uh, colonize. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at Denep. What is it called? Denep Kaitos 1. Okay, so we've got Gravitonium, Radium, Metals, Organics, and Plutonium. Uh, these are for various technologies. Metals, I think, is for construction of ships, maybe? And Organics is for colonizing. I think uh, there are... Oh, God. The planetary bonuses here are pretty shit. We can do... It has bonuses for food, science, and production. So if we're going to plan this, then we can have these options of micromanagement, agriculture, innovation, industrialization, mineral plus, which is... Okay, with this control type, the mineral one, only mining complexes are built. This one is mining complexes and industrial structures. And then balanced... And then outposts where they don't they don't expand. Okay, so let's take a look. Food, science, and production. Maybe we should. Well, do we need? Wait, wait. Ah, here, let's take a look at this. So right now we have some gravitonium, and this is our production level. This is one of those games where I my patience level is not well suited. Uh, so we're, we're going to see how long it takes for me to stop paying attention to this stuff. Um, we get, we're making a fair amount of food. So I don't know that we need to worry about that just yet. I don't know what the production stuff would do for us. Well, let's, uh, well, we definitely don't want to do minerals. So maybe we do innovation to get more to get our science or should we just do food because it's got a big bonus yeah let's do that all right so we're gonna get colonize it we can change that later it's just it just automates the uh, the building all right so now once we do that it does create a build queue for a colonizer over here and you can see how long it's gonna take it's gonna take four years and three months to make this uh, things take a long time to build in this game, which is actually uh, kind of cool. All right, so let's continue searching. And then Terry's. Okay. Nothing here that we can colonize right now. So let's go down to Akrab. 
Also nothing there. But once we get too once we get farther out, even if we don't have a colonizable planet, we may need to uh, figure out a way to do some kind of outpost. I'm not 100% sure how that will work. Um, but we can, looks like we can't do outposts on planets that we cannot colonize. Uh, unlike other games where you can just kind of put outposts in places where you basically where you can't colonize. So, all right, so this is this is the we're in a dead end right here. Okay, that's uh, maybe not great. We'll see. Let's go down and issue. Oh, let's uh, the other thing to take a look at is every time you land on a planet that you that's in your um, in your empire, you get refueled. So we want to do that. But you don't refuel unless you stop. As far as I can tell. A little bit faster. Oh! We can now do superconductors. So let's take a look at that. So right now we are still doing uh, just automation. It's going to be in 17 years. But if I wanted to, I could, for example, reset and then do combination complex design and superconductors with applied sciences. But right now we're just doing automation. So that will... Uh, that will come. Ooh, there is an anomaly in Nashira's system our explorers are calling a wormhole. Distortion in space-time that's something like hypertunnels between stars. The space is much more compressed. If our theories hold true, any ship equipped with a hyperdrive should be able to enter an object like that, just as it would any hyperspace tunnel, and exit almost instantaneously at another star. Unfortunately, unlike normal tunnels, there's no way to know where wormhole tunnels end up. The anomaly is also unstable, meaning that it is theor theoretically possible for the tunnel to collapse on top of, and destroy the ship as soon as it enters. Oh, no fun. Uh, I don't really know how to do that. Can I just like plop there? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, not right now, though. We're going to go down here. Oh, we've colonized. Excellent. OK, so we've colonized over here. No. Yes, this one. All right. So now it's going to it's building. What are we building? We're building police. How are we building police? I guess they. Uh, Guess that's what the agricultural policy is asking for. Okay, now we're now we're building a, a farm. Oh, we need more people. Oh, we're we're we're, we're getting people though. Okay, where's my guy? Down here. What's this? Oh, cluster of asteroids. Uh, again, a ship with a container transport module. If you want to develop them. Okay. All right. Let's go back to here, to New Earth. We're not building anything. Let's go build another scout so we can kind of go around with another guy. All right, let's go look at Rookbot. Nothing there. Oh, we're, um, we're running out of places to go. Oh, now we've got Xenobiology as an option. Study of alien flora and fauna. All right, so yeah, we, we we're up to three now, uh, but we've got 10 more years for automation, and I still want to kind of focus on that. Oh, wow. Oh, this is going, this is going, got kind of like gangbusters here. All of these are available. All right. I don't think I can go here. Yeah, not enough fuel to get back to its own, to our own space. So we'll let's, um, let's head back to space here. Back to our own home. That would go a little bit faster now. Okay, we've got our new fleet. Can I get there and back? Yes, it's just under half. So I'm going to send this guy over here. Put him back there. And have him go down there. All right. Nothing in calf. Yeah, just a bunch of unpleasant places to live. All right, W. Oh, gosh. Okay, so then that's a that's an endpoint for us as well. This is interesting. We don't have a lot of options here. How am I doing? Am I going to be able to make it? No. All right, let's go back this way. Ah, all right, we've got automation. Set of technologies designed to optimize and accelerate the mass production. Uh, we've done that. Now we're back to uh, reset. 
We are now doing complex design, which allows us to get these things over time. Um, let's see. What is automation going to give us? Leads to... And I think it shows us up here, right? Ah! No, stop that. Medium arm turret. Ah! Military base. Yeah, okay, so this is the list. And frigates and... Okay, so it leads to these, to these technologies, which I could focus on. But locks... Well, right now, there's lock potential research for these kinds of things, which are barely visible, which require, res uh, I think, research points or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, but let's see. What is there anything in the particular that we want? Oh, atmospheric domes might be handy. Allows colonies to settle on planets without a breathable atmosphere. Without such atmospheric domes, the population of a colony cannot grow beyond the limits of the colonization module. Um, but... It's going to take 300... Oh, my goodness. If I set it as a priority, how long is that going to take? 37 years? Uh, No, thanks. Um, What are we going to focus on? So right now, it's just... Let's just focus on automation, maybe? No, hang on. Complex design... Mm -hmm. We want to split... Let's split these two. Okay. What's this? Who's that? Who's that? Is that my guy? Oh, that's my guy. All right. I don't really have many options at this point. This is um, unpleasant. You know what? I wonder if... I wonder if that would let me, you know what, we're going to see if Atmospheric Dome is the way to go. We may have no choice. That's going to be building a farm. Yeah, this might, <laughs> this, this might actually be a very bad start. We might have to start over again because I just know where we can live. Oh, God, I hope that one is livable right there. Nope, it is not. And then I will not have enough fuel to get back if I... Ow, this, uh, this is rough. Am I going to have to just, uh, just let it... Oh, yeah, uh, all right, I'm, uh, yeah, we're going to go there anyway. These guys are going to, these guys are going to, this guy's probably going to die out there in, in the dead of space. Ah! Woo! Wow, that was lucky. Okay, what do we got? Oceanic! Oh, that's nice. Organics, food, and production. Bad on science. So let's plan a colonization. Oh, we might not actually be able to get here because our scouts can travel farther than our uh, colony ships, I think. Well, let's try anyway. We're gonna do... Uh, let's do industrialization, I think. I don't know if that's gonna work. Yeah, it's out of range of the colony ships. Okay. We have to figure something out then. What do my charts say? Well, we're big, bigger than we were when we started. I don't know what else that tells me. 13 years. All right. Ooh, now we got gravity resonance tank as an option. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on a second. What is gravity resonance tank? That might actually be useful. Well, I keep hitting the wrong button there. Let's figure this out. Gravity resonance tank. There's a f search, right? Yeah. Um, resonance tank. Gravity resonance tank. I think we've got that one, right? Fuel density. Customized tank. Smaller in overall size. Hmm. Can I 
I wait? How do I? How do I do gravity resonance tank? Do I already have gravity resonance tank? I guess I must. Yeah, because this is what it's going to take. So I have gravity resonance tank already, I think is what that was telling me. New production. Yeah, okay, okay. So that means maybe I can do ship design here. New prototype England. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. What is this? Okay, fuel tank. Ah, all right, all right, all right. Let me see. Let me, let me, oh, dang. Let's delete that. And we're going to go to the colonizer and we're going to edit the colonizer. There we go. So. Uh, standard fuel tank. Is that what this is? Oh, you know what? I I don't know what my total range was before. My range was 11,000. I need I need to get it up to like 30 so that it'll match roughly what the the um the scout could do. Okay. I suppose I could just add more of those in there, but no, this is probably going to be a better idea. Eight. Oh, we might not make it. Twelve. Cannot be built. Why? Okay, what is going on here? What are you? Colonization module. Hmm. That's a problem. I might have no choice, though. Let's see. Do I, can I do a draggy thing? Oh, God. Oh, what? What? No. That's not what I want to do. All right, let's try it this way. Oh. Let's do the best we can. Oh. Yeah. And that's that's as big as we can get. Power balance. Oh, I see. The pow oh, power, 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 power. Uh, we need more power then. Okay. What do we have here? What are these guys? That's the rocket engine. Do we have power? Okay, we've got nuclear... Ah, oh, okay, so we need some more nuclear reactors, maybe. All right, let's see what this does. This is interesting. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm kind of grooving to this. I like, I like the way this works. Oh, nope, oh, nope. Oh. Nope. Nope. Uh, my butterfingering hands here. Okay. Um, I'm at sixteen thousand. I need to get to thirty. Ta da we're at 30 okay um are we done is that is that how that works um how do, do we do we have to save it somehow did i do it yes okay excellent done now now let's see what we got here aha yes it's working What are you doing? Oh, you're colonizing. You're doing it already. Oh, excellent. He's going. He's going. He's going. And as soon as he gets there, I will have 
uh, the ability to make fuel here. Ooh, we've got the atmospheric dome now. Oh, which means that we can now colonize over here. Yes. Ah, oh, freaking brilliant. Okay, metals, good. Plutonium, yes. Mineral plus, go. Boom. Yes. We've come, we've got this guy. Ah, I love it. This is, I'm doing much better than I did the first time I played. Uh, this is good. Uh, I understand what I'm doing now. Uh, all right, so we're building police first. Apparently, apparently humans like to build police. Oh, I love the visuals of this. Oh, there's some general. Oh, that's why it's general unrest because there's people. It's just who they are. Oh, no, no reason for it. It's just who they are. Whoops. Okay, uh, we've got this now, and so now we're at full fuel. So let's go take a look over here. Oh gosh, yes, another one, another place we can colonize. Another frozen planet with. Oh, wow. Okay, that's really good. Let's do mineral plus. No, hang on. Just minerals. Just straight, straight minerals. Just nothing but minerals. This also has asteroids. I need a container transport module. Um, what do we got here? Colonizer, are you going anywhere? No. All right, let's uh, send you over there. Are we building another one? here we are oh we're building two of them okay and we colonize and what did i say we want here oh, okay this is no the bad 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 stuff okay this is just going to be minerals there we go ah all right Oh my goodness. Look at this. So many spaces. So many places we can go. It's so much better now. Okay, well, that's still shit. There's some asteroids here. I'm going to have to figure out the... I got to figure this this um, container transport module thing. An exhausted dwarf. <laughs> exhausted dwarf. It's not. Uh, industrialization. I don't know how good it is to be just constantly colonizing, but we're just going to do it. All right, we're going to do a mineral plus. And over here. Okay, we got a desert. Doobie, doobie desert. Organics, plutonium. Bad on production, so let's just do mineral. I'm hoping this is good. Our production balance here is kind of not great, but... All right. Well, we got something over there too, apparently. What? What are you? Oh, you're go. You're going to colonize now. Uh oh, pirate fleet. Shit. Over here. So, um, that's gonna be a problem. How are we making so many colonies? Uh, let's build some strike corvettes. Is that good? What's the difference between a carrier and a strike corvette? I'm guessing a carrier probably carries things. Probably carries these X-Fighters, maybe? I don't know. So we'll build, we'll build a couple of these. Let's build five. We don't want to deal with those anytime soon. Resource consumption. Oh, no. Our organics are dropping. We need more organics. All right. Groose. We're going to get organics here. And now this one. More more police thing. Okay, now atmospheric dome. All right. Yeah, we're we still have we have a decent uh stockpile though, so not super worried just yet. And now a third colonization. This is going to be good as well. We've got um, more organics. Yeah, now now we're back on a positive. What are you? What are you doing? Oh, you're... Oops. You're still... You're going to colonize down here. Uh-oh. Artificial activity in Botine. We've come across an intelligent alien civilization, so now we have to decide if we should make contact, and if so, in what manner? How strong are they? 
Are they behind us in their development, or are we the stragglers? Are they warlike or peaceful? Is it even possible to communicate with them? That's what we have to find out. Botine. Where the heck is Botine? Don't know. Oh, over here. Well, that's where the pirates are. Okay. We're going to have to deal with them at some point. I think that's going to have to wait till next time. We got one more colonizer. Boom. Now we got strike corvettes coming up, oh, and our organics are screwed again. That's all right. Eh, for now, we'll leave it here. When we come back, uh, adventures into the unknown. We'll uh, see what's going on over in Botine. Thanks for watching. See you next time.